सभी को नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम वी डू इन यू एच वी थ्री एंड इन यू एच वी थ्री वी बी लुकिंग एट मॉड्यूल थ्री एंड द ह्यूमन बींग द एक्टिविटीज इन द ह्यूमन बींग सो इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी टॉक अबाउट द हायर एक्टिविटीज what we refer to as the b1 block guiding the lower activities or the b2 block this is possible when we awaken to the higher activities within us and how we awaken to the higher activities is by constantly exploring constantly looking at our feelings referring to the natural acceptance and trying to see if they are in line or not it does not mean that we continue to be with our beliefs and with the beliefs keep waiting that when i have realization i will be able to see this this is like postponing some of you have mentioned this so if we continue to have a belief that is not right now with that belief my whole perspective gets skewed so i look at things in a very different manner rather even if we think that we believe something let us keep it open let us explore we don't have to wait till we get to realization that may take a long time it may take lifetimes so we don't have to keep waiting till then right here right now this moment i can look at my feeling i can refer to my natural acceptance i can see if the feeling is in line or not i can experience that happiness right now and that becomes my driving force my motivating factor to keep going and doing this and in this process when my conflict dies down and i am having this kind of inquiry within searching for answers within slowly i awaken to these higher activities but if we just keep waiting when realization happens it won't just happen from anywhere outside i have to make effort for it that should be very clear so with that we've been discussing this within ourselves how these higher activities we are trying to awaken to them within us and this is doable for all of us so the question was to reflect yesterday on whether i am working to awaken to my higher activities or am i just sitting with my beliefs and waiting that some day when realization happens i will understand the self and the body and i will be able to see these activities going on in the self and all of that or am i working right here today to try to see these activities try to explore see what makes sense to me am i working for participation in the larger order or am i waiting that when i get to realization then i will work for the society because we don't have to wait for that that may take a very long time right here right now we can start working for realization within and on the other hand we can work outside participate in the larger order which is an expression of 
working for realization within. So all this information, all these thoughts that I'm getting, am I bringing it in my living? Is it happening in my living? Some of you have shared, you know, words we hear, some sentences we get from here and there. The brain is like this and this is the activity of the body. And you have to understand that in science, if there is no, um, you know, no concept of the self, then of course you will try to fit everything in the body. If I continue to believe that, that would be foolishness on my part because I have the ability to explore and I am not using that facility. I am waiting that someday something else will happen that will change my outlook. So it's not just going to happen. We have to make it happen. So whatever information I am getting, am I exploring? Am I trying to awaken my higher activities? Am I working for participation in the larger order? Am I trying to bring this information into my living? This, these questions we had asked, and we had asked you to you know, reflect on this and come back with your observations. So, if anybody would like to share their observations. Namaskar, madam. Namaskar to all. So, yesterday is the first question. Am I working to awake into my higher activities? Yes, madam. Not uh, uh, very much, I can say. But to some extent, uh, I am trying my level best to uh, awaken to my higher activities by referring uh, with my referring to my natural acceptance. I have seen uh, some improvement in me and I am trying to uh, uh, awaken to my higher activities and also I, I have been observing in my life. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so how previously, how uh, mostly, most of the percentage uh, is based on my sensation and preconditioning. Now it has been changing uh, mm -hmm. from that to uh, the uh, natural acceptance means understanding and contemplation I have been observing and uh, the experience I have been uh, uh, seeing so that is my proof actually for me uh, and am I working for participation in the larger order means that I have I am unable to and I cannot say I am unable to I am not doing and I am trying uh, however what is the problem Problem in the sense, uh, actually, I am trying to participate uh, as a, a team member also in PPI. I am very much interested in, uh, uh, I am very much interested to participate as a volunteer actually, serving. Mm -hmm. But serving in other ways I am doing, but as a uh, PPI team member, I was attending throughout the sessions, but I was unable to enter in the sheet only. Then I discussed with Anupam Desar and he explain me very clearly but from then uh, i have been facing another problem in my family uh, so that i have to attend uh, my missus actually regarding her health mm -hmm. but in other uh, areas i am trying for example i am uh, exploring and i am uh, 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 spreading this uh, uh, awakening knowledge with my family members also my children i have been doing from the beginning before uhv also but after uhv in terms of this concept, I have been telling them, they feel very happy and uh, uh, they are doing very little bit because they are small kids, uh, class 10 and class uh, uh, 8, just now they have come and with my wife also and to known people and in my classroom also, I have been telling them, so please refer to your natural acceptance, if it is good for you, then you can continue just uh, uh, refer to it you can see that uh, and in other ways also i'm trying uh, uh, to uh, what can i say help uh, to increase the uh, uh, competence levels of others by increasing my levels faster yes. so that is the only thing i'm doing 
Uh, yes, madam. Because sometimes we, in that process of trying to make the other understand, it is more like we are trying to change them, but our own progress may be slowed down. Yes, so madam. Really, our really. Our own progress, and even for the participation, I just want to clarify. Um, the participation is at your own terms, depending on when you have available time to you, um, how much time you have available. There is no restriction that you have to attend. You, know, you have to be there for the workshop time. Uh -huh. It can be in your own time. It can be many, many things which will keep you closer to the content at the same time you are helping out in some way. It really, madam. Production work. It could be translation work. It could be many things. Video editing. So, depending on whatever our skill is and whatever time is available to us, even if I have one hour every day, I can um, help in that. So that is possible. Hmm? So you should yeah. not feel that um, right now you cannot participate because. There is some other issue at home, so we we still find time for many other things. We can also find time depending on whatever time is available to us. Uh, you know, we can let the others know, and accordingly, depending on your availability, your agreement with it, only then will something be put before you. So that is a beauty of this and we find that you know when we are volunteering one is the work itself that you're closer to the content the other is you are interacting with many people and you are able to see you know many of your sanskars in your interactions with others it helps you to move forward at a faster level this has been seen that Whoever participates, they seem to make progress faster. So that uh, itself shows, and everybody need not be a resource person. Some people opt to become resource people, and of course, it takes time. You have to work for it. But it starts with observing, starts with um, say identifying ppi what you are mentioning or um, doing some work working with the faqs section or whatever it may be so it depends on our own interest our own availability of time how much time we can dedicate to it and then there are times when we may not be available it's not like a hundred percent i have to do this every time if i am not available i can mention in advance there will be several other volunteers who will help out people like you yeah really madam huh? will be able to take care of that responsibility for that time yeah yeah in those rules also i observed uh, suppose if you are uh, uh, with work then you can uh, mention other will take care like that very openly and uh, uh, in, in a broad way, in understanding manner, the process is going on. I like it very much. And I like to do volunteering, madam. Uh, but, so I will try my level best. And another thing, actually in our college also, madam, recently subject distribution has uh, uh, been done uh, in a meeting. Then I came forward to teach UHV in, in our uh, college for second years. Till now, uh, there is a separate teacher uh, who is uh, uh, teaching uh, this UHV for all the sections. Mm -hmm. So I opted uh, this UHV. Why? Because uh, uh, I can teach so that I can learn more, I can interact more, I can expand my, uh, what can I say, consciousness, uh, understanding. So I opted that. Whether they give or not, I don't know, madam, because other subjects are also there. So, if they give, I feel happy. If they don't give, also I feel happy. <laughs> mm -hmm. nice. so, and uh, third question: Am I able to bring this information or thoughts into my living? Means yes, madam. I have been trying. 
so yes. this is my observation madam very nice and you've been sharing also you can see that also nice okay madam thank you madam thank you good morning ma'am uh, mm -hmm. actually i have been seeing that my competency and my relation with others is continuously improving mm -hmm. and i could see that uh, i'm uh, that is uh, first before this uhv i thought that uh, human being is something which is limited and uh, we are aspiring for the self realization which is unlimited but uh, uh, during the course of time i had a feeling which i wanted to express to you that uh, self realization is a process in which we are uh, already the unlimitedness is within us within the self and we are limited by our competency our thoughts and other things and we have to come out of it absolutely very true uh, that is the transformation but uh, in my younger age all i thought i am a limited person i am a, i have to go for that unlimitedness but that small transformation has happened now uh, uh, that is what i wanted to share ma'am very nice see mm. when very rightly said mm. when we when we think okay that goal is very far i am too small uh -huh. i can't reach ah, it yes. now you are already decided uh -huh. isn't it uh, yes so, ma'am okay i will stay with my beliefs and all till that happens mm. that will uh -huh. not yes, happen on its own i have uh -huh. to make effort yes and i have to be able to see that this all this potential is in me i am just yes. not utilizing it yes yes that is so the transformation it a, just a word we say transformation when it is definite and there's no falling back otherwise okay. we call it change okay some changes are happening but like for instance mm. um i can say that i mm. i am changing in the sense my in my living i am able to see the mm. um um the value trust yes ma'am so i am able to see that the others intention is pure now this mm. if i bring in my living consistently every time there is no change ever for mm. anybody concerned not just with my family members but with all mm. that means i am able to see my relatedness with all all that yes, means i am able to see this trust in all i am able to respect all mm. all of that i am able to participate then i can say that yes that transformation has happened i have mm. awakened to the activity of contemplation mm. and it has become definite but yes uh, till that happens you know, some changes we may see and yes. because of our strong deep rooted sanskar sometimes we fall mm. back and that is okay too because okay. to be able to see that yes those changes are happening of course mm -hmm. it will take some time but as long as i am making effort and moving in the right direction it is happening at whatever pace no yes yes no. Ma very nice okay. thank you ma thank you for your sharing good morning madam uh, i just want to share some of the transformation within me uh, actually earlier i used to well, talk about the change unless it is absolutely definite there's no fall back remember what i was just saying to yeah 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 actually um, before you which i used to talk uh, more when um, when i were interacting with others uh, even for a very simple thing or a simple situation uh, but nowadays i could see instead of reacting uh, immediately and uh, i slowly observe or listen that matter and um, uh I try to respond uh, uh, shortly or restrict to the point and uh, my family members also noticed uh, this and uh, change uh, and uh, told me uh, they now um, earlier uh, during interaction with others when the others start discussing about any matters related to uh, some other or a third person uh, i try to um, uh, nowadays i try to come out of uh, the topic so uh, mm -hmm. in my family also i used to sh uh, shout my husband 
when he returned uh, from the vegetable market um on seeing the vegetables why this um, brinjal is like this why this um, lady thing is like this um, uh, so but nowadays i started explaining with patients um how to choose a, a, a vegetable uh, a brinjal uh, like that so instead of opposing i started uh, improving my competence and then um, whenever uh, my husband used to keep the uh, wet towel on uh, uh, the sofa so i used to uh, shout and this scolded him so nowadays this is completely changed uh, so i ended up reacting i responding in a uh, very good uh, manner or otherwise mm-hmm. i am improving my competence and i am uh, saying the uh, uh, that is a happiness among us so that is a transformation nice. thank you thank you devi very nice and your husband is able to see the change yeah yeah sure everyone of my family could be able to see all these changes very nice very nice yes thank you deep thank you thank you uh, ma'am um, actually i was uh, um, observing the um, and the interconnectedness of different units of nature so i could understand that the different tastes taste so the uh, food taste of uh, it is uh, it is organized in uh, in such a manner that every every uh, unit gets or every every animal every creature uh, taste is different so we like one taste and an uh, elephant likes a, a coconut uh, a leaf uh, some likes leaf some likes fruit some like dead body uh, so it is a, such a uh, diverse uh, the it is uh, in a, it is uh, such a diverse uh, condition that nothing is wasted and everybody is satisfied such a well organized so i was surprised by the uh, this that that system mm-hmm. here so i would is- yeah i would just make one small comment here that see in the case of animals they mm-hmm. don't have much choice it is kind of pre decided pre defined no? that is by design in nature that is what they go for like a cow um will eat only that grass which is nurturing for the body it does not yes. eat that grass which is poisonous not that ah, it yes. knows or it understands but ah. it is just that's how it is it is already decided for it so it is happening in a pre decided definite manner mm-hmm. in the case of human beings problem is we are supposed to be more evolved we have been given the choice and a lot of times we are making the wrong choices so even now many times we are not sure of what to eat what not to eat na but if you look at the animals there there is no problem because mm-hmm. the animals are already eating by their own you know that um, pre decided definiteness so they eat only that which is right for them they eat only as much as is needed to you know, it's sort of uh, quench the or the um, satisfy the hunger but in the case of the human being unfortunately what is happening is you know the difference is in the human being we not only want to live like the animal but we want to live with continuity of happiness that is the bigger issue so because we want to live with continuity of happiness if we don't see that happiness inside we start looking for that happiness outside mm-hmm. so that's why we keep looking for you know um they more taste or um more physical facility or if you look at anything that we are accumulating doing even the tastes and all of that our likes dislikes very often it has to do with or in fact not just very often mostly almost all the time we are trying to get happiness out of it so that is the bigger issue in the animal there is a will to live but 
it's not about happiness in the human being that will to live of course is there but living is not enough i want to live with continuous happiness that is part of my self organization which i cannot avoid and therefore if i understand it and i understand that i can have this happiness in continuity from within then i will stop looking outside then the problem gets resolved but until i understand that i will keep trying to get happiness from outside and that is the root cause of many of the you know health issues problems that we see today so i just wanted to clarify for everybody that and then, then ma'am actually there's uh, unlike other physical facilities and uh, the amount which we can have as food is limited only so mm-hmm. we, we can Uh, continuously eat. so we have a uh, that uh, stopping uh, feeling uh, mm-hmm. full condition full feeling so uh, unlike money or other physical facilities uh, which we can acquire just uh, and then like that we, we cannot have that much infinite uh, way of uh, acquiring food food is limited only maybe taste mm-hmm. only uh, we may be going after taste so but the amount we by which we can have as food is very limited uh isn't it ma'am um yes it is but at the like, same time if you see like animals, we will stop after eating mm-hmm. some some amount of uh, having some amount of food so uh, it cannot be infinite yeah not infinite but you can see how people are eating more than required isn't it so we are making those choices the body will go along with whatever we say so we are giving the instruction to the body to overeat the body is overeating and ultimately you know you can see this problem of obesity and all why is it there it's there because we are making the wrong choices we are trying to get happiness through food so we are overeating we are trying to eat more and more otherwise there is no reason to do that you know if i'm um full from within if i am having happiness within then i am not trying to get more happiness through taste in which case i will eat only as much as is required and when i feel full i stop eating but if i am looking for happiness i will continue to eat for taste um even though you know the body's requirement is over it's done with yet i continue and the it's harmful for the body yet the body has no choice in the matter it continues to take it in and therefore you have so many health problems isn't it yes ma'am one more point ma'am yesterday uh, somebody asked you know whether we can have non veg etc so i was thinking so we need most of us need milk and for that we rear uh, this cattle so we uh, and so much milk products are being uh, manufactured these days that so much milk is required milk means that much cattle is to be uh, we have to uh, look after care uh, the, or uh, we have to uh, uh, so create that much uh, or rear that much cattle so where this finally after once they uh, cannot produce give any milk what we will do with them so they need enough a so lot of food they need so we may not be finding enough uh, food to uh, um, uh, provide them so um, once they stop giving milk what is the use of those uh, cattle but how can we keep those cattle for what use uh, now we are diverting more and more into nature when we talk we are diverting more and more away from the human being and into nature and animals and that sort of thing but we'll discuss when we come to nature also okay. the important thing to see is not that can we do this can we do that there is no do's and don'ts these are choices that we are making we need to understand the choices that we are making and make them wisely isn't it if you look at how cattle you know how cows were kept and even now are kept in many of the places in the villages and some you know traditional setups you will see that the cow is kept almost like another member of the family so it's not just a milk producing machine for us 
yeah in many places it is like that yeah so there is a huge number of cattle is there unused cattle so what That's do we do thing. there are many problems but we have to try to understand what is right what is naturally acceptable to us and go with that yes. if we start focusing on the problems you know we we get swayed and we get into you know this is bad that is bad this problem is there that problem is there but do we understand if i understand then at least i will start making the right choices yes and i will participate in helping others also make those right choices huh? yes ma'am yeah. thank you thank you okay i guess we can go a little further we can talk about happiness now that we have been mentioning this so what can we deduce when we awaken to the higher activities of the self we are able to see relationship we are able to see relationship all around us if we really start looking at the definiteness if we start looking at you know um the continuity those things that are not changing we can see the relatedness among all the units in this nature and then we taking guidance from this we bring our feelings and thoughts in line with relationship and we try to do this every moment so this first thing this does is i become in harmony i am at ease i am comfortable within i am in a state of happiness and if i am doing this every moment then i am in a state of happiness every moment there the continuity is possible so yesterday we were talking about these various terms that we are using no state of harmony at the different levels within the self so between realization and understanding there if we have reached we call it bliss if it is somewhere between understanding and contemplation we call it satisfaction if we are between contemplation and comparing analyzing we call it peace when we are between comparing and tasting we call it happiness but when we say continuity of happiness when we say continuous happiness then this is including all these terms so rather than focus on you know each and every term you know what word to use all of that for everything these words are just an indication of our you know what we are looking to experience from within so more important than that is to experience the harmony within so for instance like we keep saying you know if i look at my feeling and i bring it in line with the natural acceptance i feel the calm i feel the comfort you know we call it feeling because you can feel it so you are actually able to feel that being in comfort within and you can see that this is a state that you want to continue with so now you can really appreciate the harmony you can appreciate the happiness within so like that at every level as we go if we experience that within us that is more significant than the term we use for it words are important but they are only an indicator for the actual reality the reality is what you can directly you know see within yourself so if we have the understanding if we have the feeling and thought of relationship harmony and coexistence because this is this is how the pattern is in existence this is what is our natural acceptance of course because our natural acceptance is just a reflection of what is there in the existence that is why it is the same for all so when i 
keep referring to my natural acceptance i can be with that feeling and thought of relationship of harmony of coexistence and be with continuous happiness so that's why we keep saying right understanding right feeling right thought this can lead to continuity of happiness so this is also saying the same thing in different words so when i have the right understanding when i can see the harmony at all the levels of being that means within me i am in harmony i can see the harmony of myself with the body i can see the harmony you know within the family i can see my role in the harmony in society i can see the harmony that is there in nature and existence at all these levels if i can appreciate it if i can see it then if i am truly able to see things exactly the way they are that is right understanding so you will find that all this is doable within the self and it has a definite completion point it's not something vague it's not something abstract it's not something that you know you have to just visualize it is very much possible to see this and the continuity of our happiness is possible from this it is a state of self organization my you know pre decided self organization is that as long as i have a feeling that is naturally acceptable to me i will be happy if i have a feeling that is not naturally acceptable to me i will be unhappy this is something that is pre decided it is part of my self organization i cannot change that what i can do is to just understand this and try to live with it so that all my feelings and thoughts are in line with my natural acceptance so that i can be in harmony all the time i can be in happiness all the time this would be that i have become self organized swatantrata which is the hindi word for it is probably more apt but you can follow what is being said again words more important than words is the meaning that we can see out of the words so that is the right understanding with that right understanding comes the understanding of the relationship comes the you know being able to see my relatedness with every unit and having the right feeling within so all these terms that we used you no know, trust respect affection care guidance reverence glory gratitude love you can see that these are all terms that are being used specifically to depict some aspect of relationship but if you have to club it all together then you will just call it relationship just like you say continuity of happiness it includes all those you know happiness bliss satisfaction peace and so on here also all these are included when you say feeling of relationship so here you will find that there is a definite completion point continuity is possible and this is the state of self organization so working for right understanding by referring to the natural acceptance awakening to the higher activities and having the right feeling coming in line with the natural acceptance slowly we can become self organized we can have continuity of happiness which is what we are searching for isn't it but if we look at what we have been doing to get happiness we may have tried many many possibilities so we will look at some of the things that we do in order to try to get happiness from outside when we don't see it within and we've been doing all this 
but we'll recap a little bit. So you can see how instead of having the right feeling within, we start looking for it from outside. So I am trying to get all these feelings from the other. The other says something loudly and um, so I am getting upset and I'm like, how can you talk to me like this? What is that? I'm looking for the right feeling from the other. If I have the right feeling within, I may be able to rightly evaluate the situation, which is that the other is shouting because he is not able to, he or she is unhappy within. And so it is just an expression of what is going on inside that person. It is reflecting that person's state. It doesn't have so much to do with me. I just happen to be there. But it's not as, as if this person is directing all this um, hatred towards me. It is just that that person is um, lacking the competence to be able to see this, that he or she is you know, feeling unhappy within. And this is just an expression of that. So when I keep trying to get the right feeling from the other, I may try to force it. I may try to shout back, get that person to, you know, how we, when you go for, um, say you're going to work and there is a security guard there and we tell the security guard, um, security guard, when you reach there, he opens the door of the car for you. He salutes. He says, good morning, all of that. We may mistake it as him having right feeling for us. So one day he doesn't do it, we become unhappy. See that fellow, he's become too smart. He doesn't wish, he's supposed to wish me. Now, why is it so important for us? It has become important because I can't see that, you know, my happiness is not dependent on the outside. My happiness is dependent on my own feeling. And I can have the right feeling. I can choose to have the right feeling. All this, what I'm trying to get from outside is very temporary. And of course, you have to depend on the other person. If the other person is miserable, he may not remember to do all this. No? He's supposed to salute. He's supposed, supposing he is having a bad day. No? He may not be able to sort of shout out at you. But within, what might be going on? No? So it's not just about the expression outside. It is also about the feeling within. No? So we think that this is a form of respect, that that person is um, saluting me, opening the door for me. He is doing it because that is his job. He is not linking all this. But I link it with my happiness, then there is a problem. Because then I think that if it doesn't happen, I'm going to be unhappy. There you are depending on the other person. And there is no completion point. You cannot have continuity with something like this. Because so many things outside, you know, it depends on so many things. One day the security guard doesn't come. He has some work at home. Now I have to park my car myself. There is nobody to wish me good morning. Nobody to open my car door for me, carry my briefcase to the office. I have to do all this myself. I get disturbed. So, so many changes can, you know, so many things are possible outside. That will never be all in my control. It will never all be to my liking. Children shout back. I don't see that I am shouting and they are just imitating me. I may have been doing it for a long time and slowly whatever my sanskars I am 
passing them on to the child also. But when the child shouts at us, then we don't like it. Then we become unhappy. How can the child talk like that to me? It is my child. Yes, it is your child. But you don't own the child. It is an independent self. And I should be able to see that, you know, somewhere I may not have given the right guidance. I mean, that is a possibility. I'm not saying that is always the case. But if I can see that the other person is functioning, you know, whatever they are doing, it is an expression of their state, then I don't get disturbed by this. I can have the right feeling within myself. Then I don't have to depend on the other for my happiness. You see? Because there the continuity will not be possible. Similarly, we try to get happiness through the body. Because we have this body, we forget our purpose, we forget why we are here, why we have taken the help of this body. And we start using the body for our own pleasure. So all these you know, sound, touch, form, taste, smell. I use all these sense organs for my own pleasure, to feel good for longer time which is what we were just talking about when it comes to taste, overeating, and so on. That is why there are so many health issues. Because we are not able to see that here there is no completion point. Continuity is not possible. It is very temporary. And of course, I am depending on the body, which is limited. So even with the sense organs, I should be able to see that while I may be trying this, but without understanding, I am able to only get this temporary pleasure. Happiness and continuity is very far from reach. And I don't understand this because I have no uh, you know, understanding of the self. I don't realize that the Need of the self is for continuity in happiness. But if I'm trying to get it through the body, that continuity is not possible. So I keep trying to you know, get more and more and more to satisfy that continuous need. But that will never happen because the need of the self is fulfilled from within the self. It has nothing to do with the outside, with the body, with the sense organs. Ma'am, uh, everywhere this right feeling, only these nine feelings are shown. What about the self-regulation and prosperity feeling that they also should be uh, attained through uh, right understanding? Why they are not referred? If yeah, we because we, when, we talk of, when we talk of the human being, no? when we talk of the family, if you notice in the... Um, in the FDP also, first we introduce the self and the body. No? Then seeing our relatedness, you know, we are seeing the relatedness of the self with everything, every unit. No? Body is also one such unit. So the main job is to understand, main job is to understand the harmony at all the levels. Body is one such level. See, in us, we tend to give more significance to the body, but the body is one more unit in nature. The main issue is, within myself, am I able to understand? If I can understand this, when I am working for happiness, when I am working for harmony, of course, I will also see the harmony you know, take care of the harmony with the body, take care of the harmony in the family. We keep talking about that. So there comes your prosperity, there comes your health of the body, and so on. Because it is a very small part of the program compared to this whole program for happiness. We do talk about it, but as part of that happiness, really, if you see. Yeah? 
Ma'am, actually, this prosperity feeling is a very important feeling, which will, uh, which is going to change the, or affect the, or uh, which will influence the satisfaction or happiness of the others. Because mostly the we, uh, it is a basic need. We should have food, uh, clothing, etc. So if, uh, once the uh, once feeling of prosperity uh, is very important for others. How do you get uh, feeling of prosperity? a right understanding then so it should be a right feeling no it should be a very important right feeling that we should be having no but whenever that's we see that's what i'm trying to say because in our own mind the body is so significant so everything linked to the body comes first or it is most important but really if you see the self is the one that is central no the body it's using like a tool So if yeah, I have understanding, of course I will have feeling of self-regulation. I will take care of the body. I will have feeling of prosperity when I understand my need first, or the need of the body. You know how what I need physical facility for. So all this understanding has to happen in the self. With that, of course, you know when you we talk about it, we do mention it. that feeling of prosperity if you want to add it you can add it i have no problem but essentially this is what when we are talking of human human relationships self to self then we bring in all these nine feelings that way we can also say that you know why we don't talk about relationship harmony and coexistence when we talk of the right feeling but we do talk of it when we are looking at the larger picture you see so all this is included in fact when we talked of prosperity also we mentioned that this is part of the program for happiness it is less than 1/4 of my program all this we mentioned to have it in context na yeah? so my program is something very huge the body is one small part in it yeah yeah oh, okay ma'am thanks yeah thank you so you can see here that with the you know right understanding when you look at things you are working for harmony at all the levels you know? living in harmony as a human being with the body with the fa- family in society in nature and existence and this right understanding is where it is happening within the self it is for happiness in the self there is a definite completion point with that now you know when you look at the feeling now you can rather than looking for the feeling from others we can have the right feeling within us this feeling of relationship for others so when i have that feeling within me i am happy within i can see that this is up to me this is what decides my happiness not trying to get the feeling from outside and that has a definite completion point if i am looking at the feeling of the other it is not to try to get happiness but rather to evaluate the other's state so that i can see my complementarity in the relationship and i can participate in the relationship you know be complementary to the other so i can you will notice that you can only rightly evaluate the other's condition or you can only rightly evaluate the others feeling when you yourself have the right feeling if i myself am disturbed then i assume many things and with that i am not able to rightly evaluate the other also then there is a problem so first and foremost i have to work on my own harmony being in harmony with the right feeling then i can rightly evaluate the other also. and when it comes to the sensation we already spoke of this we use the sensation 
just to you know for evaluating what the state of the food is what the state of the physical facility is whether it is okay whether it will nurture protect the body or not and i can use the senses for sharing whatever i have understood for participating in the larger order for when i interact with others in my behavior when i interact with nature when i work with nature so for all of that i can use this um the senses so that all that is possible any questions so far namaste vidhi namaste sabhi ko uh didi uh, uh something uh, i i wanted to ask about uh, my own uh, observation uh, not exactly uh, that i can say it is in the form of an observation i am feeling that experience since from a long time but uh, not continuously often it will Uh, change by in a week it is happening yesterday also i try to ask the same uh, but uh, i asked uh, kumar sambhav bhai uh, next uh, session after 6:30 like uh, some some kind of uh, light like bright light is trying to enter into my forehead like, like that it is happening i don't know I, during that time when i am going to sleep no during that time it is happening uh, yeah, but see, i see, not... see. yeah if yeah, i can if i can respond quickly um we are out of time actually we can okay. talk about this separately also or first thing in the morning tomorrow we can talk about this okay. see sometimes we have many preconditionings and based on that based on what we have read we try to see things from that perspective because we are strong beliefs in something so that you'll have to see what is it that is making you look at it like that not that some light is trying to enter but i am believing this to be true na mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. we'll discuss it tomorrow morning if you want or separately also okay. but right okay. now we are out of time so we won't be able to dedicate okay. time okay. so we'll stop here for now